in Burlingame, California on a restretch. And even though the hall is small, working in an area like this is challenging. It all depends on the orientation of the ripple and the layout of all the doors in the floor plan. Either way you take this stretch, I'm gonna have to open up a door seam or else the ripple might return or you'll move it into another room and still have the issue. To do this, I lift the carpet from the edge and cut within an inch of the existing seam. You might not notice, but they usually run underneath the door when shut. See all this tape? That's the old seam. It needs to be melted before I can remove it without damaging the backing of the carpet. Once opened up, there's no more tension around the walls or at the seam, so I can take the stretch forward. It doesn't take much, but I like to pull really snug so the rest of the hull gets tight, making sure that no other ripples will form. So I don't lose the stretch, I temporarily nail down the carpet a few inches from where the seam will be. There was one time I was doing this a couple years ago and the customer came running up, stop, there's a leak. Water was pouring down into their kitchen. What a nightmare. The copper pipes were not run under the flooring to code and were sticking right under the plywood so one of my nails hit through and caused the leak. Had to pause the carpet repair, turn off the water, pull back the carpet and pad, cut out the plywood, solder the pipes, patch the subfloor, then finish restretching the carpet. So believe me, cutting open a door seam is the last option when restretching a hall, not my first. I stretch back and the wall is lifted up, trimming extra carpet as necessary and tucking back under the baseboard. A little upholstery work around the step to make things look fresh followed by some rubbing and brushing around the crease of the old ripple. Because even after stretching tight, you can still see where it used to be. So this helps it to blend in. Then I finish cutting the other side of my seam and melt back together with fresh seam tape and latex edges. For those who've never seen this seam iron, it's a cool glide and uses induction to zap the tape underneath. I roll and blend the seam and apply some weight as needed. Takes a few minutes to cool, then I take out the nails, do one last check over everything, and do a final walkthrough with the customer showing the finished product. No more ripples here in Burlingame, California.